the red painter. Today, the artist paints in red. He wants to paint in red. He is the red painter. Today, the artist wants to paint in red. Yesterday, he painted in red. It is good that he paints in red. He is the red painter. Today, the artist wants to paint in blue, but he is the red painter. The artist paints in red. The artist again wants to paint in blue. Blue is the wrong color. People will not recognize him as the maker of blue paintings. He is the maker of red paintings. He paints in red. Today, the idea of painting in red makes the artist swell with rage. All this time, he has been wasting his time with red and red paintings. He should have been painting in blue. He has wasted so much time, he does not paint. The artist wants to paint in yellow. If he paints in yellow, his days as a painter in red will be over, and his days as a painter in blue will never begin. Yellow is an entirely new project. There is neither the time nor the mental space to be a painter of red, blue, and yellow. Even if he were to try, people would say to him, what happened? He paints in yellow, then he paints in green, then he paints in purple. It is absurd. None of these colors are him. He paints again in red. He is bored. He should have been painting in blue all along. He has wasted so much time with red, but to abandon red now would be to invite censure. What is wrong with red, they will say. You are the red painter, they will say. What is wrong with you, they will say. <laughs> he paints in blue. He experiences ecstasy. He wishes never to stop painting. He has trouble returning to his regular life, to his wife and his children. His home is filled with red paintings and the red paintings of others. No one has made a blue painting before. He is despondent. How is it possible for him to continue with painting in blue consuming his every thought? He does not sleep. He paints in blue. It is nothing like painting in blue yesterday. It was all an illusion. He has fooled himself again. He tries to paint in red, but finds he cannot. For several days, there is no painting. There was no painting. There will be no painting. The artist sits. The artist feels tender toward his old works. He sees that they are good, that red is him after all. But he does not know if he can go on painting in red. This is farewell. Today, the artist takes the day off. He goes biking in the mountains. He goes sailing on the lake. He eats oysters and makes love with his wife. He knows she likes his red painting. This is farewell. Today, the artist paints in blue. He wants to paint in blue, and he does paint in blue. He is the blue painter. He gets a call from someone asking him to be in a group show with two of his red paintings. They do not want his blue paintings. Please, the red paintings, they say. He says he will think about it. Today, he thinks about it. He sees that he is the red painter who is painting in blue. The blue paintings are the same as the red paintings. They only look completely different. <laughs> the person who wishes to exhibit his red paintings is too stupid to see this. Otherwise, they would take his blue paintings. They are the latest paintings. They are the real paintings. Only the artist can see this. The project behind the project, the foundational questions to which every painting, in red, in blue, in yellow, in green, in purple, is the answer. Thank you.